My name is Ted Stryker. I'm a passenger on this airplane. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit smoking. You ever been in the cockpit before? No, sir. I've never been up in a plane before. Would you care for a drop, madam? Certainly not. Find out if there's a doctor on board. Stewardess? Yes. I think the man next to me is a doctor. Oh, thank you. You'd better tell the captain. We've got to land as soon as we can. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. What do you think it is? Get him out of there! What was it we had for dinner tonight? Well, the main course was meat or fish. Yes, yes, I remember I had meat. The life of everybody aboard depends on just one thing. Finding someone back there not only can fly this plane, but who didn't have fish for dinner. One thing. Do you know what she had for dinner? Oh, yes, of course. We both had fish. Why? But both pilots. Can you fly this airplane and land it? It's a different kind of flying altogether. All right, Stryker, now you listen to me and you listen close. You begin thinking that way and we're finished before we start. Listen, you! Don't follow me! I'm trying to help! I won't let her go! All right, leave her to me. Now listen to me! Listen! Calm down. Relax! Your husband and the others are alive, but unconscious. Now there's a good chance we can save them if Stryker can get this plane down in time. That isn't really much of a chance, is it? I just want to tell you both good luck. I'll keep your son with me. We're too low! Stryker! Stryker, can you hear me? You've got to keep her up! Keep her up! I may bend your precious airplane, but I'll bring it down. Now get on with the landing check. Striker, you're too low! Ted, that was probably the lousiest landing in the history of this airport. But there's some of us here, particularly me, I'd like to buy you a drink and shake your hand. 